Okay, so this is an unboxing video for the uh, Subaru 3100 PSI pressure washer. Not sure what the model number on this is, but uh, there's all the information on the side for you. I did crack this open just to look, but I haven't actually pulled anything out yet. So I'm going to first. This has an electric start, which is kind of nice. But, uh... Okay, you got a bag with oil. Is that oil? Yes, oil. And uh, what I assume is the plug for the electric start. And I'm not sure what these. Oh, they're different. They're different uh, nozzles for the sprayer. That's pretty cool. And of course, instructions and warranty information and all that. Uh, got the handle. Put that off over here. And the hose. Okay, where's the nozzle? This part of the nozzle. Oh, here we go. Here's the rest of it. So it's it's in some pieces. Uh, then the rest of the pressure washer is in there. I wonder how heavy it is. No, it's not that heavy. It's actually pretty light. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna throw everything together real quick, assemble it, and come back. Okay, so I just used the pressure washer for maybe about 45 minutes, maybe an hour, with soap. And, uh, it worked out really well. I mean, I've got a few little problems with it, but I'm basically just nitpicking. Uh, by the way, that's the model number right there, EA190V. Uh, a lot of things I like about the there's some stuff on it that's really well thought out. Like the little plate here that holds your different nozzles, you know, your soap nozzles and your different angle nozzles. It's got a little card here that tells you how everything, what each nozzle does. Uh, the electric start, I have an electric start on my snowblower. With that one, you have to, you have a plug, you have to plug it in. With this, there's actually a battery underneath there. Which, when it comes shipped, it's not hooked up. You have to hook up a wire that's underneath there. Um, I'm not really sure how I feel about that. I kind of feel as though it's one more component to go wrong. You have a battery that needs to be charged or it'll die. I, I'm not really sure. I mean, you always have the, the pull start just in case, but not too sure about a battery on a pressure washer. But, you know, I like it. You don't have to plug it in. You can just push the button and go. Um... What else was I going to say? The handle on the side here doesn't really hold the nozzle very well. You have to kind of put it underneath the air box, which I tend to always have that problem with pressure washers. I always find that those little brackets don't really hold the handle very well. Um, overall, extremely easy to start. You basically... I don't even think there's a primer on How did I even start it? There's a valve down there. You basically turn this, it's like a petcock on a motorcycle. You turn that, so right now it's closed, and that'll be open. And you, you pull it out to choke it, and then once you push it in, it'll not only close the choke, but raise the throttle at the same time, so you have no throttle. And I don't think there's a primer on it. I haven't seen a primer anyway. Overall review? I think it's a great product. I really do. Um, again, not sure how I feel about the battery being underneath there, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, great product. Few little pet peeves, but I'm just being anal.